So our title this week for this week's study is Calling Your Harvest, but really what it is, is expect your harvest. You know, if you sow a seed, you ought to expect the harvest. And so we were, t- were talking about this all this week, and the first thing that we discovered is, first of all, you got to sow in order to reap. And it de- it's determined on how much you do sow, determines how much you are going to reap. If you sow bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. If you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly. And so the first thing, sow. The second thing, get aggressive about reaping your harvest. I didn't say get aggressive aggressive about sowing, even though you should be, because whatever you sow, you're going to reap. But expect to reap whatever it is you do sow. Why? Because why would God ta- want us to talk about seed time and harvest? And, and, and we've looked at it even when Jesus is talking about it, which comes from Luke chapter uh, 6, verse 38. Given it will be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use it, it will be measured back to you. So again, Sow it sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly, okay? Sow it bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. So get aggressive. Know that I'm sowing a seed, I'm expecting a harvest. Amen. And then also don't give up on your seed. That's what we talked about yesterday. Listen, you might look and that seed's laying there and you're thinking, man... Is it growing? Is it growing? I don't know. Maybe I should dig up the seed. Don't dig up the seed. Leave it there. Trust God. He's the one that brings the increase. And today, let's talk about keep the weeds out of your harvest. Why? Because Satan is constantly trying to to mess up your harvest. He does not want you to receive your harvest. Look with me at uh, Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 in the King James Version. It says, And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Right there, again, God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so when he created man, the first thing he did was put him in the garden and then gave him a job, said, Here, you take care of this place. And the same thing happens today, since he doesn't change, you and I need to realize he places us within a garden and says, here, dress it and keep it. Okay, now that may be at your work. Let's say you're a farm, fireman. Well, maybe it's God's placed you there in order to sow seed and receive a harvest. And what I mean by that is to do good to others. Look for opportunity to do good. Sow a good deed. Sow joy and peace. Sow uh, happiness. Um, Kindness. Again, because whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. And and it determines the level. If you sow bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. So your placed in that garden, wherever it is that God sent you, in order to tend it, take care of it. And just like I said yesterday, Jerry Seville talked about the fact that maybe some of us need to be shooing off the birds of prey that are trying to come and take our, take our uh, seed. Don't let them take your seed. Start praying over that. Do spiritual things that keep that enemy away. Why? Because he's defeated. He's already defeated. He's under our feet. Keep him there. Amen. Um, what can choke your, your crop? Walking outside of love. This includes unforgiveness, bitterness, and strife. Why would we want to do that? Once again, it's us to, up to us. The Bible tells that if we don't forgive, God can't forgive us. The Bible tells us that we're acting as mere men when we operate in strife and in, in uh, um, disunity. It tells us that in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, um, that we're acting just as mere men. We cannot do that. We, as Christians, need to realize that it's us who are, is bringing the kingdom of God and the principles of the kingdom of God into a situation. We put on Christ. We have the mind of Christ. We are the body of Christ. We are the bride of Christ. Um, uh, We're the disciple who Jesus loved, praise God. We're a friend of God. Amen? So that's what we bring into that garden. We bring that in and we sow that into whatever garden God's placed you in. That's what you sow. It also could be finances. It could be that one of your friends in, in, that you work with get in trouble, get in a situation, and maybe you can help them out financially. We'll sow it. But then be aggressive towards that harvest because God says whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. Amen.
That's the harvest. The reap is the harvest. Receive your harvest today. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. Dad, gum, and I love you too. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.